Hello, these are the um, hat pins I did for the swap at Art and Sassy this month. Um, you had to make five and then create a container for them that kind of matched the colors of the pin. That's what I tried to do. So the first one I did, these little containers, I just kind of came up with myself. Um, I could do a tutorial if anyone's interested. Um, and I'll show you. So this is my, ouch, <laughs> my first one. I used furnace glass for most of these. Um, let's see. Ooh, that looks better. Hey, I didn't do the backs yet because I want to put my information on the back. So this is a good reminder, but I'll do that in a minute. So I used um, mostly Swarovski crystals and furnace glass for these. Um, so there's mostly pinks and greens and a blue butterfly. So that's what I went with. I found this paper. This is a Kane Company paper. And it's pink and green. And then I punched some blue. I punched a blue butterfly and just went with that. So that was what I did for that one. I think it kind of matches pretty good. I just did glossy accents on stuff. Then this one, again, it's mostly furnace glass. These are six inch, whoops, six inch hat pins. I'm just turning it over because I think it shows up better on the, with the black background. So this is just Swarovski crystals and furnace glass again. So it's mostly just clear and light blue is the other main color. So I tried to, I did it white with colored stars and I put stickles on the stars. I don't know, I think that matches pretty good. And so that was my second one. And I mean, this holds them pretty, pretty still and pretty, you know, I think they'll be pretty safe in there. So this is my third one. Um, again, it's furnace glass and Swarovski crystals. Oh, actually, this is called a cat's eye bead, this one. And I took that ball and kind of ran with it, and then I ended up making <laughs> this polka dot paper I found. This is a Kang Company paper again. And I just fussy cut all these other color ones and put them on the pink paper and made that a little darker. So let me stick him back in here. Hopefully this is what she meant by making the thing match your beads because that's what I think she meant. Then this one is, it's got an angel and a heart. I made a stick pin like this. This is the, the inspiration was a stick pin that I made and I don't have that. Well, this is a pink one. This is a pink one that's kind of similar. I have the blue one too, but I don't know where he is at the moment. Oh, here he is. Here he is. So I really love this turquoise color. So I just figured I'd do a, a hat pin with those same colors. And then for my holder, I had this paper. I don't even know what kind of paper this, but it's like a shinier paper. It's different. And it's like artsy but it looked like a sky to me, like a crazy sky. And so I just put um, some silver hearts all over it because that was, that tied in the heart, the angel for the sky, and then the hearts are silver. Oops, that's crooked. Let me try and put it in a little straighter. I mean, I don't have to do it on camera. I could definitely not be doing this. There we go. So that's my fourth one, and this is my last one. Um, this one again, it's furnace glass. I love the furnace glass and I've had it for forever. So I, I was happy to use it for something. Um, and Swarovski crystals. Like, I don't even think this is a Swarovski crystal. It's just a pretty blue one. So it was blues and like even on this furnace glass piece, it's, uh, there's blue there, like a light blue. So I just saw this. This is actually, I think this is, um, my mind's eye paper and I just saw the dark blue and light blue and it's little bees but I thought well that matches and then the back of it was this polka dot a dark blue and light blue polka dot so it matched and I just figured okay good enough <laughs> and 
made that my my fifth one and just added some blue flowers I cut this into a um, leaf shape and just put that on there it has a little bee on it and then I put one of my bee charms that I had on there too so kind of matches I mean I don't know it's light blue and dark blue so that's my fifth one so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna package them now I think I'm gonna go to Party City and get those little um, treat bags that you use for birthdays and stuff I think that's what I'm gonna do and tie a ribbon around the top because um, you're supposed to put them in a plastic container um, to ship them and everything and I have these but that's not gonna fit and I have I think I have freezer bags but they're like really big so we'll figure something out all right so I just wanted to share those that's my swaps for May I did bottle caps hat pins and ATCs so I'm all done I can ship them all together and if you haven't done so go check out artandsassy.ning.com they have really nice swaps and people over there okay guys thanks for watching